So, honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to be titling on this video. It's probably going to be something random, but whatever. A title's a title, I guess. I'm not even going to bother doing my intro, too. So, so I haven't been making any videos for like at least a couple of weeks or maybe more than that depending if I can get this video up and running as fast as possible. But on my recent video, um, in the description below I have explained that I might actually be taking a break at once again due to what YouTube is doing with the subscriptions feed. If you want to know more about that then just look up other videos about what people are talking about what is going on with the sub box because I really don't feel like explaining it and besides you you might already know what's up with it and you know that is not the only reason why I might actually end up taking a break anyway there's a few more reasons so you guys know Killing Floor 2's recent update about the summer sideshow event 2018 or whatever it's called I really don't care what it's called so it's pretty much out now including that DLC character to be honest I was gonna make another video about Killing Floor 2 about that one specific map that I haven't played but I found interesting that I really wanted to play but then I mean I was gonna play it until this happened and because of this upgrade system, I knew it was gonna fuck up the goddamn game. And the community on there went fucking insane over this. But not just that, but as well as this. And because of this too, obviously people were outraging, saying that the, you know, the upgrade system and the EDAR should just get out of here. I mean, come on, what are you doing, Tripwire? But honestly, I really do not like those EDARs, especially the Trapper. Because, you know, very, very annoying out of all the others. And the EDARs, they just, they don't seem to make sense at all in the game. Like, when were robots involved? all of a sudden like what the hell is this I feel like one dar is already enough I don't want like three more annoying dars to actually ruin my fucking day which obviously seeing all that and even experiencing it soured my mood from even playing Killing Floor 2 in the first place so you know I kinda decided to not play Killing Floor 2 as much as I used to. And honestly, I thought that Dark character and the Stand Your Ground was one of the worst things by far, but I guess I was wrong for that. You see, Tripwire trying new stuff like this just, it worries me because it's gonna affect the gameplay and what it's pretty much about most of the time. And don't think I'm close to done talking about what they've done on their recent update. Now, the final part I want to get into it for this video, I really don't want to get into too much about this, but I'm only going to get into it with the juicy stuff, but it's about the DLC character, and this was very unexpected for me. It's just the price! The price! What the hell are you doing, Tripwire? Ten dollars for one character one character i remember back in killing floor one's dlc usually a single character is worth you know at least five bucks but this and killing floor two ten dollars okay wow tripwire um w what are you thinking like you mind explaining to me why why you're you're making it up to ten dollars? I thought it was five, but unexpectedly it's ten. Jesus Christ, Tripwire! What are you doing? I I I honestly hope that that's not gonna be for at least every single character they put out there for a DLC. Ten bucks for every character. 
Jesus, dude, that's like... In total, like, imagine if they made like five characters. That's like 50 bucks in total. Imagine if that happens. What if you're a late joiner in Killing Floor 2 someday, and you see like a lot of these cool characters, but they're worth 10 bucks, and if you want five of them, well, well, guess what? It's gonna cost like 50 bucks in total. Or if you want like at least 10 of them, guess what? It costs 100 bucks in total. So, um, good luck with that. Good luck with trying to spend all these characters. Love, Tripwire. Amen. Ugh, alright. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. And I almost forgot just to put it out there, just the people who are just about to comment on my video saying that, oh, well, hey, on the bright side, it's free content. It's all about that free fucking content. Well, guess what? Just because that content is what you call free doesn't mean I need to ignore the fact what that content really is. And besides, it's not really 100% free just, just to put it out there. I mean, there are microtransactions, you know. You have to pay with your real money. And also those bundles, too, including the DLC characters. You're calling those free? I, unless you're not going to get them, of course. I can totally understand you're not going to get them. Unless you're, you you really want to. But hey, if you're going to be buying them, hey, it's not my fault. Alright, but, but I am done talking about that right now, okay? So, I'm moving on to something else to talk about. But just so you know, because of those things about what, you know, about what happened to Killing Floor 2, I don't think I'm gonna be making a lot of Killing Floor 2 videos. And besides, I feel like my recent videos don't seem to be somewhat doing well. So, I guess because of it as well, I, I don't think I want to make a lot of videos for now. But I'll tell you what, I've actually ended up making a couple of videos in March for this year. I just I just haven't really released them yet because um, I completely forgot to but I might actually end up releasing them whenever I have the time to and also I mean I am working on this one video that I've been wanting to do for a really long time which I hope it could get people's attention it's about it's about a um, a top 12 something on Killing Floor. It might be pretty obvious, so I really don't want to spoil it. But I think you guys will like the video. It includes custom voice dubs like this! Or this, young blood. Y you get the idea. I'm gonna be making some stupid ass voices that I bet will hurt my throat. So that's probably not gonna be fun, but whatever. It's worth it, though. And besides, I've been making this video for days and days so I really 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 hope you guys enjoyed that video I'm still working on it to this day and hopefully I can get it done and over with making videos for me is not easy as it is back in my past honestly it's just now uh, it's just really hard really stressful and exhausting so I'm really trying to make it good as possible. I don't know what else to say, really. Still have no idea if I'm gonna be taking a break or not. Like, now or later in the future some point, unexpectedly. But I mean, I don't know. But if I haven't been uploading for at least a month, then consider me taking a break. But don't worry. During that month, I'll make sure to make a video. But... Honestly, if you're gonna be that guy that ends up unsubbing me due to me not making content for at least a good month, honestly, go ahead and do that, you unpatient bastard. You honestly know who you are from doing it. You're making it harder on yourself. And, uh, next week in June will be, uh, my birthday, which I'm gonna turn 17 years old. That's right, 17 years old. What, nobody cares? Just me? Oh, whatever. I don't know if I'm willing to put an outro onto this video. Well, probably not going to. So, I hope you guys understand what I'm going through, I guess. I mean, I did explain that um, I might be taking a break again. But not like now, but probably soon or later. 
I don't know anymore.